He likes how I tied his tie. Oh, go see Sean Lee and she'll show you to your office. I hope there's not a showdown at the end of the game where I have to strangle him with it. It'll give you an idea of the political climate. An idea of the political Thank climate you. around here. Yes, Welcome to the club, Jaden. The Killers Club. Mwaha. Yeah, that would be quite a twist if the police chief ended up being the origami killer and he doesn't want the FBI there because uh, he knows his own officers are so incompetent that they'll never catch the killer until they uh, bring some real professionals on the scene. I'm actually not going to discount that one. I'm going to say there's about a 1% chance that that ends up being true. The body of Jeremy Bowles was found this morning on a patch of wasteland in the East End at about 6.30 a.m., five days after he was reported missing. An autopsy will be conducted tomorrow to determine the exact cause of death, but going from first indications, it would seem that he drowned. The state in which the body was found suggests the methodology of the origami killer. The investigation should confirm this. It's the origami killer. Get it right. The police are continuing to work around the clock to find the murderer I'll field some questions. Yeah. You said the methodology indicated another victim for the origami killer. Can you be more specific? An origami They're taking a lot of pictures. Hand, and an orchid was placed on his chest. His face was covered with mud, but there were no visible traces of violence. The Zodiac Killer. That's the origami killer where they would be found either. I don't think there's much chance of that. For the moment, the killer may think he's invulnerable, but in the end he'll make a mistake and we'll be there to arrest him. Yeah. Did the killer leave any written evidence, perhaps a ransom note explaining his actions, or anything like that? No. Uh, he has not made contact in any way, and we are hoping the murders to help us understand his motives. Yes. What's the question? Some people are saying that the police were slow to take an interest in these murders because the victims live in poor parts of the city. What oh, yeah. That's absurd. I discouraged the police from acting quickly because, I mean, I did it and I wanted to uh, get as far ahead of the investigation as possible. Is he going to admit this? He's going to admit yes. it. We asked the FBI to send us a profile. All right, so I'm not a forensic expert. I'm a profiler. We're planning to announce this in the next few days, but it seems that won't be necessary. According to certain sources, the town hall has been applying pressure to avoid any mention of a serial killer. It's only got that adverse effect on the mayor's election campaign. Do you have anything to say about that? Pure speculation. These reporters are very eloquent. In order not to have an adverse effect on the mayor's re-election campaign. Thank you for your cooperation. One question, please, sir. One last question. Captain Perry, one more question, please. I just decided to manually get up and walk out. I don't know if it's actually over. I guess it might be over because people are starting to file out with their cameras. I'm dying of thirst. Where's the water cooler when you need one? I'll just steal this guy's water cup. You won't mind. Is there any water in this thing? Chapter 2, The Quest for Water. Is it back here? It looks like a coffee machine. You drink it too fast. I didn't press it slow because there was no icon saying slow. 
I guess common sense maybe. Damn, now that I burned my throat, I'll never solve this case. So just to review what we know so far about the origami killer, he always like drowns the victims and then moves the bodies because they're found in different places. But he probably has like a room he takes them to where he drowns them because that would make sense. And he always leaves an origami dog in the victim's hand and an orchid pinned to the victim's chest. Which are probably sentimental artifacts having to do with like the killer's past or something. And he only kills boys age 10 or 11. I got some water and some coffee. Do we know anything else? That's all so far. I saw Blake when I arrived. Maybe I should go talk to him. Case is front page news and all the papers. It's not going to be easy investigating the crime and the glare and all this publicity. I'll have a look around the station. Stretch my legs for a bit. It's like a... Is that a cell? Are these all like individual separate cells? Just for like temporary detainment? There's two hookers locked up in that one. There might maybe chicks from a biker gang. They don't look too tough though, they look kind of skinny. They don't notice that I'm curving them. Her belt buckle says next. I wonder what they were locked up for. Maybe just like public intoxication. Maybe this city has very strict laws. This dude is trying to like pry the door open. He's gonna be very disappointed. He's very well dressed for a criminal. Maybe he's a political prisoner. Maybe he just leaked some government information or something, and he's awaiting transfer to Washington. This guy just like came to the precinct, like pounding on the door, begging to be locked up for 24 hours so he wouldn't be tempted to shoot up any more heroin. <laughs> yeah, this is like the uh, observation chamber. Probably this is the interrogation room, right? Like next, if I can go back that way. Can I go back that way? This guy's in my way now. This is probably, like, there's probably an interrogation station in this room. And then this room is, like, where the police officers, like, stand to witness the interrogation. There's a map of the city. Can we see which city it is? Is there... There's a river running through the city. Interstate 76. One of them's marked 76 and the other is marked 95. Another is marked 679. That doesn't make any sense. This isn't any real city in the United States. Just from the names of the highways, I can tell that. The 95 kind of runs up and down the East Coast, but not really. It's very bendy. That's the alternate design for the American flag. It has the American flag on one end. On the other end it has um, like a skeleton holding a joint and an advertisement for an upcoming Grateful Dead tour. Are those cigarettes? I haven't seen a cigarette machine in a really long time. Alright, and this is the conference room, which is empty now. Are there any clues in here? I just walked right through that thing. Is that an Easter egg? That doesn't look like it belongs in the physical environment. It's just floating there. It's not an Easter egg, it's just a glitch. You can walk right through it. That's bizarre. The 
this investigation is starting to give me the creeps. Get a hold of yourself, man. Get a hold of yourself. He's also thinking about someone named Charlie. Oh, okay, so that's why I'm walking around aimlessly. I'm looking for my office. I need to talk to Charlene, who's probably like the receptionist. She has a very receptionist-y sounding name. Are you Charlene? Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. <laughs> it optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. She goes out of her way to make and sure that everyone knows that the police officer uh, department is completely fair to all the promotees. Congratulate Larry on They don't pick any favorites. I'll be sure to do that, sir. By giving them nicer watches. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. Cobwebs in the corner. That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Someday you will find me caught beneath the landslide. The champagne soup and over in the sky. Okay, time to work. I thought she was gonna burst out into song. Isn't this game a musical? If this game isn't a musical, I don't know why I'm playing it. I mean, it's only like the best thriller game I've ever seen, but I'm expecting songs also. There's an interview with the director of Final Fantasy XV, who may have actually quit directing it since then, but uh, he was talking about how he saw Les Miserables, the uh, 2013 film version, or 2012 film version, and he came up with the idea of making Final Fantasy XV a musical. And then everyone at Squaresoft um, made him stop being ridiculous and vetoed it. Alright, so I, all I did was push the desk up against the wall and now I'm ready to go. Oh, I see. He puts on his glasses. I know it doesn't matter where he is because he's zoned out. Step one. Change the office. Yeah, baby. I'm going to change it into like um, a strip club. Beautiful women tangled all around me, whispering clues into my ear. We have a leaf, a planet. Whoa, I'm in Tibet. I've always wanted to go to Tibet. Alright, clear all. I'm going to stay in Tibet. This is my happy place. Clues, files. This is the right stick, I assume, right? Clues. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. Analyze. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. Was that a clue I just found? Or is that something else? Let's analyze this one. No prints or specific clues. No, nothing much to go on. Phalaenopsis mm -hmm. paratene. Common species. That's the scientific that name for an orchid. Geoanalysis. No data.
Geoanalysis on the orchid? The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any farm shop. Oh, so now I look at a virtual map and it lights up all of the places it could have come from. Because we're trying to track down like where the killer bought it. He probably just drew it in a pot. Can't geoanalyze that. This is so peaceful. There's birds flying by and flocks. Just one origami store in town. Ooh, this could be a lead. We could question the proprietor of the origami store. Is that all? Clear all now? Did we find our lead? I went to clues, but I can still go to files. I haven't gone to files yet. Origami killer victims or modus operandi? Let's look at the victims. We already know the MO. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys. Age between Eight victims. Nine and 13. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Does that include Jeremy Bowles? Bodies found three to five days later. Drowned in rainwater. Drowned in rainwater. Can I do geoanalysis on the victims? Is it going to show me a map where all of them lived? Yeah, they're all like 10 or 11 year old boys. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. This one make the geo profiling any easier. I bet the one on the east of the river, that little Irish looking kid, is um Lauren's son. Origami killer, MO. Let's open it. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Alright. We know that um, the origami killer isn't like physically torturing the victims when he's uh, holding them alive because uh, the bodies don't show any marks of injury. This is interesting.